Charlotte Weitner made her way to Yukon from Dusseldorf, Germany three years ago. Today, she finds herself making waves on the field hockey turf, a sport she's played since six years old, while also pursuing a degree in mechanical engineering. It wasn't until eight months before freshman year, she decided to look towards a collegiate career stateside which was a difficult choice considering the options available to her. I would have played field hockey regardless at home, but probably, I want to say, like November before freshman year, I really started looking into it. Choosing to come to stores was a last minute decision not based on hockey, but on where she felt most comfortable. It's obviously really hard to decide when you're so far away, like you can't really understand like the differences between schools. Like I didn't even know what a city school was yeah. like compared to what this is. It was more like a game time decision, kind of like the feeling of it, because there are not really huge differences field hockey wise. Coming to the United States with little expectations, Weitner's transition from overseas became easy. She was quickly acclimated herself to the new culture, atmosphere, and style of play. I think what helped me the most was that I didn't really have any expectations, so I just kind of like went in for it and went with the flow. I want to say I like accumulated pretty fast to like the culture and then field hockey wise in the beginning it was a little different obviously just because the style of playing is a little different than it is at home but also that happened I want to say like maybe a month or like 10 games into the season. Once overcoming national barriers, Weitner thrusted herself into a successful career with the Huskies. Following a record-breaking junior campaign, she leads the UConn field hockey program in all-time points and assists. The record-breaking numbers are a result of her finishes, and she doesn't think too much about them. Weitner credits her teammates the most for getting her to where she's at today. I don't really think about the numbers at all. It just kind of happened. I think I was honestly really lucky with like the opponents that we've played and with the kind of strength of team that I was with and especially with the kind of unselfishness that other players around me played with. On the field sometimes I probably do stuff and people are like, oh, what is she doing? Like, why is she taking that shot? And then it ended up working fine. So I take a lot of risk and that's why I get like that many goals. But I think it's honestly all just because of the other work that people have been put in and I'm just there for the finish. Along with the team, she can't forget head coach Nancy Stevens, who is the winningest NCAA Division I field hockey coach with 639 victories. Weitner says it's more the little things Stevens does that helps her craft. With a coach, it's hard to say in the way they actually help you. It's the stuff that she says, like she gives you uh, critique but in a good way it's funny because like whenever I do something on the field I like know exactly what she was gonna like would be saying in my head and then I look at her and like I don't she doesn't even have to say it out because I already know what she's gonna be saying soon but then her ability to work with everyone on the field and um, just cooperate like what we like to do but and then also what makes us better though it's been a successful run there's always something to improve on Weitner says the team is ramping up its fitness in preparation for the 2017 season hoping for another trip to the national tournament. Personally, for Charlotte, it's about enjoying each moment. This offseason has been really great and everyone's working really hard, um, especially fitness-wise, because as long as you're like, being able to perform your best for the entire game, you have a pretty good foundation. But then also um, just enjoying the moment because I'm not going to be able to play for another year after that, so I just kind of have to take everything that I can. Weitner undoubtedly leaves it all out on the pitch every game. Win or lose, wearing her number 26 Husky uniform is something she'll take pride in every day. We've been talking a lot, and especially I have been thinking about gratefulness a lot. Being able to come here, being able to play every day, and like being able to step on the field with the people that I do is just something that is, I'm unbelievably grateful for and um, it's amazing. I can't even put it into words and it's something I'm ever going to take, like never going to forget. What's next for Weitner? Well, right now her priority is finishing up her degree because life is bigger than just the game. As it is right now, I'm definitely putting on my education first just because, I don't know, there's more out there than field hockey and um, I think I'm just going to go with where it takes me in that perspective and then see if I can figure out field hockey around it. But if I'm not going to be able to, I know that I'll, I had a great career and um, I'm going to be able to look back at a lot of memories. So there's nothing that I really missed out on, I don't think.